No, really. <laughs> I don't know about that. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's what she said. Hey guys, what is up? It's Jenna Brewer with That's What She Said. Today on another episode, or episode two, finally here. Last time I was joined with Cora Gillespie, one of my roommates. Um, this time I'm flying solo. Um, just a little recap of what we did last time. We talked about our first experience at college and what we thought it was like living in the dorms and some of the events coronavirus and that's what we talked about last time now it is getting to the countdown almost christmas break almost winter break for college students and with winter break coming up you know what that means for college students which means finals so we're all studying for our finals which is tough and college kids can be stressing but if you just power through you can get through it and it'll all be worth it in the end now i know you guys don't want me to sit here and talk about finals because that's pretty boring so let's get into the good stuff but that's what she said so like I was saying before, me and Cora were talking about coronavirus and how everybody should stay safe, especially now because it is getting a lot worse in the Omaha area. So please, 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 for the nurses and the people around you and for your family and friends, restrict where you're going and maintain social distancing. But with that being said, a little while back ago, around in October, I did get coronavirus and then my roommates ended up getting coronavirus because we're just so close. It is hard to stay away from each other. So we had that two weeks of quarantining together. And let me tell you, that two weeks, I would not trade for the world. It was such a weird bonding experience for us. It really brought us a lot closer than already what we were before, which is hard to believe. But in that two weeks, it was nothing but sleeping, video games, eating junk food, dance parties to late nights, to canvas painting cartoon characters and hanging them all the way down our stairwells. None of us had it really bad, which I am so thankful for. I think one of my favorite nights in the house during quarantine was PowerPoint night. It's where you make slideshows about whether it's like writing your experiences with Tinder guys or um, one of my favorite ones that my roommate did was why guy ferrari should marry her so definitely was laughing for a solid hour or so doing that definitely recommend oh another night we did um kahoot which is like get to know you it's like found out a lot of interesting things about my roommates that i didn't know that i thought i did so also recommend doing that with your roommates but with that being said it's weird how all the little things in a roommate can make a big difference but with that being said also comes with oh shoot, you're stuck with them for two weeks, not leaving each other's sides. So you can believe there was definitely ups and downs during those two weeks, but definitely have changed a lot of things in the house, which I am so thankful for. But everybody is healthy and well now, thankfully, and we're moving on to classes again and working, which I am so thankful for. I feel like there is so much that has happened in such a short amount of time, which I don't even know what feels like a blur of what has happened in the past few months, but... A little update on my life and just some inspiration for you guys. Lately, I got a new job offer, a full-time job, which I am so happy and excited about to start. But it is something that I never thought I would be doing and made me think, is this what I want to do the rest of my life? Or is, or being a journalism major, what I want to do the rest of my life? And it is okay to change up your major more than once because honestly, in my opinion, I think it's fun to experience new things or something that you never thought you'd want to do like teaching is something that I never thought I'd want to do but here I am being a full-time sub TA next semester and taking a gap semester and taking a gap semester everybody hears that and be like oh my gosh if I do that I'm gonna be so far behind and I won't be able to catch up and graduate but I think it is something that some people need to do and is a-okay and not everybody goes straight to college and that's also okay just figuring out your life and what you want to do step by step and day by day is 100% okay. It's the way you want to live your life. And if you're happy, then who cares what other people think? Or at least that's what I think about. Um, sorry to get all sappy on you guys. I know this show is supposed to be a fun and you get to hear all the tea about my life. But I just got a little sentimental on you guys and real for you for a sec. But let's end this off on a good happy note. So the holidays are coming up. Christmas is like my favorite holiday all times. Thanksgiving is a top second, but I think that's just because I like food so much. So Christmas still up there. But here is some ideas for a safe Christmas activities to do for the holidays. (laughs) 
Okay, to start it off, who doesn't love Christmas cookies, hot cocoa, and movie nights? Add those all together, you can watch a bunch of Christmas movies on Netflix or Disney+. Plus. Sit down, cozy up with hot cocoa and your Christmas cookies. Another one that I really want to do this year is drive around, get in your PJs, and go look at Christmas lights and have hot cocoa with you and just listen to Christmas music and drive and look at Christmas lights. Another one is my roommates and I love doing concerts in the living room and dancing. So why not make it holiday edition and make it Christmas music night and just sing and have a little concert in your living room. Another one is I'm a big photographer, so we did rooming pics a little bit ago, fall edition, but now have matching PJs and do a Christmas photo shoot. Last but not least, something that I've been wanting to do for years that I haven't done since like I've been in elementary school, which is really sad, but make gingerbread houses with the roomies. So those are some ideas that are safe, quarantine friendly that you guys could do definitely this year, but yeah, thanks you guys so much for joining on That's What She Said. Sorry it wasn't so much gossipy, but you know, sometimes you just get into the deep talks and that is okay. But you guys have a great holiday and I'll see you guys next time on That's What She Said. Okay, all right guys. Thanks for tuning in. And that is all we have for today. And remember, That's What She Said. Okay, bye guys.